Hey folks, Harry here and welcome back to my hardcore Minecraft world, where in today's episode, I want to build a super smelter. Yeah, I want to build the super smelter in this world. Not only that, I am wanting to build a bamboo farm as well as an iron farm all in one so that I can have access to lots of iron as well as being able to smelt stuff like stone bricks and to crack stone bricks relatively easy. So let's get into today's episode. First things first, we actually need to go and level out where we are building our crop farms. So this is the area that I want to build into our crop farms. I want wheat, potatoes, beetroot, carrots and the all fenced off with things like bushes and stuff like that but as you can see it's not very flat we've got lots of trees we've got some water and we've got hilly areas now i want to level this all out so that it's all nice and smooth i'm keeping this mound here and this bit here but this has got to be smoother and then build a farmhouse in between it all so let's get going Farm's done, but if I add one of these little things here, that way, we have a wheelbarrow. How cute is this? This is, I seen this on TikTok the other day, and I thought, you know, that's so funny and cute, and I just love that. So uh, I'm popping it in, and it actually adds to the farm, and uh, that's it, it's done. We have got the farm, we have leveled out the whole area. I've left this here because I kind of want to do some pawn thing for like the kids of the farmers to come and play. We can set up a, like a wee pond with a wee pier that they can jump off into. So let me know what you think about this farm. I think it's quite cute. It's quite quaint really and it just adds a wee bit of aesthetics to this. Now that we have the farm all sorted, it is actually time to get paths and the farms in. The paths are going to be out of the coarse dirt stuff we used in the, the mining camp and I need about this to get all the paths in in this general area that's, that's a lot of coarse dirt and I only have this much so I need to fill this barrel up this barrel up of gravel and these two of dirt to fill all these barrels up and then I need about 10 stacks and plus of dirt and gravel to fill the rest of this up I've set myself a task and a half here, haven't I? Go big or go home. I have all of these barrels pretty much full apart for this last one. I need I need about half a stack of gravel. If that to make that no, do you know what I need a, I need 16 gravel. Yes, I need 16 gravel to finish off that barrel. And that's the roads ready to get made. The next thing I need to do. Oh no, what have I done with it? Pretty sure I put it in there. 
have I left it at the sea? Unless a door. Okay. But I have also lost my azalea trees. I had a whole barrel full of azalea saplings and bone meal so that I could start making them and get the azalea leaves and things like that. But I've lost it. Like, completely. It's not over where the moss farm is. It's not there. Not in there. Not checked up there yet, but I am pretty sure I put it into this barrel here when I moved everything. I, I'm like 90% sure. But no. It's, it's gone. If I put it down in these ones? Yeah, I've, I've completely lost them. Right, well, it looks like I need to go AFK at my moss farm for a bit and hopefully it doesn't break because I have been having problems with it and it is really annoying. Wow, that that took a few Minecraft days. That was nearly an hour of me just sitting there to get this. And the amount of mind brains I got because obviously I, I nearly died with the, the phantoms. But we're hit, nearly hitting 400 days in game, which is amazing for me. Like, it's hardcore. Let's get this back and then we can continue on. You alright there, mate? You, you, you kind of seem stuck. Now, if any of you have actually been watching the Hermitcraft series, I also seen it on Mythical Sausages. You can lead things in boats now by F3B. Get that. I can. I can pull these guys along. I don't know about you, but this feels so stupidly weird. But it's better than trying to get minecarts and things like that. So I'm going to pull these guys across before it gets dark, hopefully. And then we'll have our villagers. Or at least the start of the villagers that I want. Whoa! Right, so we're back at work. Uh, this guy who nearly died. Oh, the home. Now, I can't remember if villagers can open gates or not. So, this, this is going to be a test. Now, can you get out of the gate? I mean, it, it doesn't want to go out, so I'm guessing no. Right, let's... let's let these guys out. It seems like I know. But you don't seem to want to go out. So that's that's good for me. Do I have any seats on me? No, I don't. But these guys seem to get stuck in here, which really annoys me as well. I don't know. I don't know about the, the gates. I think just leaving the gates just now to see what they do is something that I'll need to do. Because I know they won't get attacked in here. Oh, actually. Oh, they're going to get attacked in there. But yeah, I don't think there's any way they can get out either. So we'll leave them like that and we will get started on getting the farms and that sorted. I will try and keep an eye on them as much as possible. And I don't actually know how I'm going to do this. I think, I think just putting it down and seeing how we got on it's going to be better i am going to power through this and hopefully we get lots of leaves so i start off by taking the tops of these azalea trees completely off before going underneath and just clearing them out i do this about three or four different times just to get enough barrels worth of leaves so that i don't run out i then take out lots of oak in the sound area getting a couple of barrels of leaves from this and then I start on the roads. Now I'm using coarse dirt for this and it's basically been hand drawn beforehand in a creative world and I'm just basically copying it off the block here just to give us a bit of shape and structure. Taking out the bamboo that was in my way, I then led a path all the way up the hill to the house just so that we had a better access to get there. Then took it around this hill to give us access to the bridge 
before going off and starting on the hedges for the farms. I uh, build them basically small. I looked into it and roughly a medieval's farm sort of area was about one acre or 63 blocks. And then I started on the farm. I started with the wheat here. Uh, this took me a lot longer than anything else. I literally just logged back into this and I get chills. That's so weird. This, I love it. Like, I loved how it looks. Like, this is coming together and I am loving it. I, I need to, like, trim up a wee couple of pits and I need to sort this out. This needs to come around here. I am loving this. Fun fact. I can go under here. Uh, I, I'm going to need to get this sorted as well. I'm going to need to block all this off because this is this is all lag stuff. And if I want to put the world out somewhere, then this needs to all become lag free. Yeah, the other fields are going to be a massive project for another day because I just do not have time to get them all sorted. And I also don't have all the resources. So I need to go get the carrots, the beetroots and the potatoes and all that sort of stuff. And the things that I am planting. And uh, thank you, sleeping. But yeah, I need to get them sorted so that I can have more. But now that this is done, I have an even bigger project to do. I did say at the start that I wanted to do a blacksmith's and put uh, an iron golem farm underneath it. And I've changed my mind. It's not going to be a blacksmith. It is going to be, it's going to be a forge. A massive forge under the mountain. Over there. Same location. Are you still stuck in there? Okay, that's, that's an issue. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I can't repair my shovel anymore. Okay. That, that just means I need a mending book. Or get extremely lucky and get a good shovel the next time. Huh. Also, that's the last mistake. I, I am going to attempt to get a mending villager. I'm going to go, yeah, I'm just going to go and try and get this. Wish me luck. Right, so I have this mod installed. It's called Immersive Thunder. Immersive Thunder. Just listen to that. Oh my gosh. Like, this is like real life. It goes off by distance and everything, and it's got different sounds, and I love it. Oh, it's not going to go now. Like, if that is not amazing, I do not know what is. This, this is the area. This is the area I'm going to be digging. Now, I have calculated that I need to dig out 55,000 blocks. An area that goes 21 by 37 by 91. No, 71. 55,000 blocks. I am going to need a lot, a lot of barrels for this. So yeah, I'm going to be digging and it's going to take me a while.
that's a big hole. Uh, yeah, but it's not even finished. So I cut it down by half because I realised I really didn't need to go any further than this because in this bit is going to be the, the iron form. So this is the lip of the iron form. The only thing I would need to do is bomb proofing. That, that's about it. So I would need to go in and find where any golems have spawned, go in and spawn proof it, which is going to be done by carpets because it's an easy resource to get with my spider form. But anyway, that's that done. It's time to get the iron golem part in. All right, so I need villagers for this iron farm. Uh, I came over to this village to try and see if I could find some, and I can't. Um, <laughs> there's none. There's actually none round about us, which is concerning. I put F3B on, just to try and see if I could spot anything. I've got all this sort of stuff, and I remember some were down. No, you're a skeleton. You're a creeper. Oh. <gasps> Yay. Right, so we've got one here. I need at least two to try and make a farm with them, but... Uh, is there any more here? Uh, not that I can see. Right, you come, please. And I'm going to need... I'm going to need to go and breed up some more villagers in our farm. Right, so I need... I need four new villagers. Well, three if this guy does name. So I need three villagers. So this guy will be one, and then I need another three. So I need to get this lot reading. Now, I think me just coming in here and grabbing a whole load of wheat, and then turning it into bread is going to be a lot quicker than me going to try and find a lot of food. In fact, I don't even know if I've got a crafting table in here. Uh, where did you come from? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, where did you come from? Uh, oh, did we get another farmer? No, you're a fisherman. That's fine. You'll lose your trade if I don't trade with you. Anyway, we have this one. Right, so I now only need two. It shouldn't be too hard. I think I'll just take these two. Um, I mean, they're already in the boat, so... May as well. Now, getting them out is going to be the fun part. Or not. Uh. <laughs> okay. Back in I go. All right, so... I have these four. I just need to get this one in there. There we go. Perfect. Now, where's my leads? So, yeah, and I now just need to get these leads on these guys. Like, so. And I cleared this bit so I could get them out.
the iron farm is set up, but I have let this run for an hour. Three Minecraft days. <laughs> wow. I, I, I don't think we need to worry about iron anymore. Yes. Now my problem is gold. Yeah. I, I need gold for the bamboo farm. I need it for the rails. I don't know how much I have at all. So, I can't even remember how many. Oh, this is really dark. Hmm. Might need to light this up. Yeah, I don't know how many reels I need, but I do know that I need quite a lot. So I need to go and find a lot of gold. Now, I know there's a Badlands close to my industrial district, but... So I might jump over there and do a bit of mining. Hopefully I don't die. Yeah. Literally finish that and I get attacked by a blooming skeleton. Right? Oh, wow, you're hiding in the trees, aren't you? There we go. Right. I need to sleep. So obviously I use Light Matica and I was like, oh, I know how to figure out how many power rails I need. 480. Seven and a half stacks of power rails. That, that's a lot of gold. Okay. okay. <laughs> I came over to see if they had any gold here before I went and got some golden carrots as well. I know I don't have gold here. I don't. Whoa. You guys have been busy. Okay. So the bamboo is done. But as you can see, there has been an issue. Uh, I've had to. I've had to run this whole load of glowstone through it as well as in the floor because bamboo doesn't grow if it doesn't have a light level of nine and above but because this is underground it doesn't have light level properly so i've had to throw this in for it to for it to grow properly now i tested this out in a redstone design world where it was sunny all the time flat world above the ground I didn't realise, I didn't realise that was the problem, so <laughs> it took me a wee while to figure it out, and then there was a few hiccups, but it is working, if I can jump down here, there shouldn't be anything in there, but we do have a bubble column right now, so if I come up here, and flick the switch, it will go off. Now, I don't know how bad this is going to be, because of the, the, the glowstone being in there now but it was going to take me something like 38 IRL hours to fill up all these chests now this is backup storage so that if we do run out in the actual farm then there was a serious problem somewhere and something's not working but this I I'm going to need to let this run for hours Whoops, I forgot to put the minecarts in. Let, let me let me go do that just now. I mean, it's a good thing I have this iron bar. Wow, okay. Um, good thing I have this iron farm for us to be able to. <laughs> yeah, that's been running while I've been up here. That's a lot of iron. Uh, I think we've got enough for at least one beacon. We just need to go get the beacon now. But yeah, let me get those parts in and get that sorted they're all in and i have access into here if i need to and this is all lit up properly lovely now let's start this machine again because i have got a long long wait to go and then i also need to build the super smelter as well okay the furnace is in the smelter the super smelter the furnace array is in and it's working so at the moment, I'm currently trying to fill it up with bamboo planks, and it's taking its time. But that's that's normal. But let's let's just take a wee look at this. So I'm in free cam. We're going to put two stacks of cobblestone in there. They'll start flying into those copper mine carts, and then they'll slowly go all the way around, come all the way back to here, take the last stack. As you can see, there's none in there, and away it goes. Now. That'll all work through 
and they'll slowly come to the droppers down in the water streams there. And as you can see, they come flying all the way around. And then there's a hopper minecart under the sand there that picks it up and throws it all into this chest. And it's lossless, so it's amazing. And the bamboo planks, which smelt one and a half items, it's, it's brilliant. It's actually brilliant. And there we go, two stacks of stone. Sorted. Now, my issue is, it doesn't look pretty. I need to go and design how I want this to look. And obviously, the way it's sitting just now is the basic way I want it to work. But I have a plan of changing it so that I can switch modes. So if I come in here with just a wee stack of like gold or something I need, I just want to take it out of this chest and put the stuff in there sort of thing. So I want to try and route it so that this flicks down, um, this here flicks down and stops it from going this way and goes up and around for another like super storage over here if I'm putting a massive amount of items in. Whereas, keep it like this if I'm just putting in a wee bit. That's something I would like to do. Whether I do it, I don't know. But I do want it so that it goes to an area. And I'm not just standing here. Because I kind of want to change how this bit hole looks. And have something here. Where I can like walk up. Because I think where the chest is, is the level we walk in. So I need to figure that out. But yeah. Let me get to that. And it's done. Yes. But I wanted to showcase me building this. But as I was as I was doing the replay stuff, the whole computer crashed like blue screen. So I lost I lost that replay record. Here's me actually building the forge part of it though. We now have the forge and it works. I have tested it, but let me just show you something. We have here the forge. I come up here, I throw in a stack of whatever it is I need. Away it goes and that gets smelted. After a wee while, it will come over here and into these places here. Now this is all extra storage because I do want to set up something like a shulker unloader, like here, where I can come in and put the shulker in. And it'll automatically go and do a whole shulker box of stuff that I need. But yeah, that's that going. I wonder who's coming in yet. Those items, items are dispensing. Here they come. Yeah, but it, it does. It is a bit dodgy in the fact that it goes to different chests, which is fine. This here is my button for me to know that my bamboo farm is on or off. Currently, it is off. 
but we have the bamboo farm here which is going and is sorting all this stuff out here which has got all crafting going on here from bamboo and the bamboo blocks and the planks and then that all comes up here and then i if i'm there we are geez, i'm going really fast here i have a stock block so basically once this starts to fill up this will turn all this system off so it will not overload the system and it will start filling up the emergency banks here and then in the back here which i do actually have to go in and show you because i modified how this works so it used to be over there with the chest if you remember but here here is different so this is a it's a loader that allows any amount of item in but more than likely if there's I've set it up for 64 items using this. That's not the correct number. I will need to double check that, but that's not the correct number. But yeah, once this gets to 64, it should allow it. But as soon as any items actually go into the chest, it will turn off this, which then locks this. So it comes to you, this it turns this off, so it closes it, allowing a cart to stop. And then once the items are out, out by the detector, this turns this back open and away it goes but if this is obviously nothing in it it keeps it gate open and closes it when the stuff goes in but yeah so pretty much all of this is the same nothing here has changed but yeah it's completely done what do you use actually think of it though because i love it and another thing is it's a cat magnet i have three cats sitting up here which i could quite easily go up and grab if we come all the way out here we have a chimney it has a chimney coming out of it. Oh, good, the rain stopped. Uh, we have a chimney that comes out of it. It's got some campfires in there. I think I need to put more in. I think I've cut myself short for some reason because it doesn't seem to be going as high as as high as it should. I've missed campfires. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. I uh, forgot these nine. Ah, there we go. That looks better. But yeah, it's all done and dusted now. I have a massive forge that I can use when I need it, and I get all these items. But yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments. He's on next time.